Happy holidays, YouTube. I uh, hope you guys have been being blessed and staying safe. Welcome to all of my newbies. Welcome back to all of my subscribers. Um, this is going to be another experiment because I have not found a video on YouTube where anybody was doing this. And as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, let me go ahead and show it to you. This is a skinny tumbler tote. And I'll show you guys how it works in a second. But this is sublimation. Um, as you can tell by the white squares and it's double sided. So I'm going to take it out of the bag and talk because y'all know I try to keep my video short. I am in a craft group. I'm in a thousand craft groups on Facebook. This one is called Crafter's Journey. And she did a buy-in. Um, and let me give them a shout out right quick. Hey, everybody in Crafter's Journey. Um, so y'all go ahead and join that club on Facebook. They have lots of tutorials and they also um, do buy-ins from time to time. And they have ready to ship um, items. So we did a buy-in with this. And I haven't gotten around to pressing it. So I want to go ahead and hop on here and do this today. So this is double-sided. Side here and a side there. And everything else is black. Um, so this is a sublimation. This is a skinny tote tumbler. A skinny tumbler tote, y'all. I can't talk today. Let me pull it back. So you got two options. You got the handle as it comes to where you just want to carry it this way. But on the inside, it comes with this strap. Um, and you see this is how it attaches. Uh very well put together and so you see it's adjustable um so you can make it longer or shorter uh and you would just okay slide this end to that side and i probably should have waited till after i decorated it but we're here now slide this end Lord, if I can get it to go in, I just can't. All right. And then now, it's longer. So let me go ahead and take this off because I don't need this for right now. So what you're going to need to get this project done, of course, you're going to need your skinny tumbler tote. Now, this one holds 20 ounces skinny tumblers and i made one and i'll go ahead and show you guys how it works or how it looks in there afterwards so you're going to need your substrate all of you all that are following a substrate is whatever item you're going to sublimate on you're going to need heat tape your handy dandy lint roller scissors your image and you're gonna need your heat press um so let me go ahead and swing my heat press around first thing you're gonna do um, get your lint roller and you're gonna go ahead and lint roll oh and you're also gonna need a uh, parchment paper butcher paper copy paper uh, blowout paper um, Whatever it is you're going to need to protect the top platen of your heat press. So, this is going to be the first side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, y'all can see me cut it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and try to cut it as close as possible. I could have used my... I've got one of those cutting um, machines. I don't know what that thing is called. I call it a guillotine. <laughs> the old school ones that we um, used to see our teachers use in school. Um, now, when it comes to measurements, I know a lot of times people will say, what are your measurements? What are your measurements? Um, I can share my measurements, but at the end of the day, it also depends on so many different factors. All substrates are not created the same. So this could be one that you got from uh, one manufacturer, whereas the design side um, could be different. Um, so basically what I do is I took my measuring tape and just went across. 
so you see this is from the white part to the other end is I would say about three and a half inches and then I would say probably about five and a half long um, but you know whenever you're sublimating you kind of want to give yourself a little bit more wiggle room so here's the the two things that I will say the way this is made these cannot go under your heat press at all you'll melt them so these are going to have to hang off the side of the heat press also a uh, area of concern because this is circular i'm going to have to flatten it um in order for it to press so i feel like if i do it that way um and press it and i'm just going to have to tape it down real good on these edges um close to that circular part because I'm kind of concerned about ghosting. Um, just like I said, I have scoured YouTube. Make sure you're putting it right side up. Um, trying to see if anyone had done a video um, on pressing one of these and I could not find one. Um, let me make sure I kind of got it. Yeah, so I made this kind of big um, on purpose but that's okay because the outside of the design is black anyway so even if it runs off um, that'll be cool because it's still you know the sides of the substrate is black so I'm gonna take this down my tape is wanting to curl back on me uh, the biggest concern I have for this is just that side this side right here where it's curled up so i'm just gonna have to and i thought about folding it in like this but if i fold it in that way then um my heat press won't close I've always adjust your pressure on your uh heat press when you're sublimating something um because you know with sublimation the biggest thing is pressure so this would be perfect if um and maybe because this is mine i'll experiment with this side um, because i'm doing two different designs on each side so if one side doesn't turn out okay um will i be devastated yeah but the things we do for love so i guess i can try it this way by folding that uh inner part in um, so let me get my parchment paper, y'all. I still got this box of parchment paper that I got from Dollar Tree a while back, and I love it. Um, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, I'm turning my tote to, uh, to where the handles are on the outside because we don't want to burn this plastic. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put it, and I know nothing is going to come over, and just fold it over. These are 25 sheets for a dollar, so no biggie. Um, I got my heat press set at 398 uh, for 60 seconds. Let me go ahead and press it down and talk. Uh, so I, I am a bit concerned about ghosting on that bottom part where I tucked it in. And if that didn't work, I'll just leave it flat. Um, and while this is pressing, I'll go ahead and cut the other side out this is going to be double sided because i've kind of i'm trying to make like a whole matching set where you guys saw in a previous video where i did the tumbler where i did the coaster and i have the earrings and so after this is done i'll go ahead and you know show the whole set on screen my most of the directions that I use when I do sublimation, I normally do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. It depends on your paper. It depends on your ink. There are so many different determining factors as to what directions you should use when you're sublimating. Um, a lot of times it's kind of trial and error experimentation. A lot of times when you buy these um, substrates, especially when they're coming from other countries, a lot of times they're not going to have directions. You just kind of got to wing it. All right, so, 
And one of the telltale signs that you can see that it's sublimated is because you can kind of see it through. So, y'all, let's go. Wow, look at that. So, you can see a little bit up here where the thread is coming through. But look at that, yo. That is all, y'all. All right, so now I know um, tucking it in is not bad. So, hey, just like I said, because I couldn't find a video out there, um, I'm just winging it. Again, lint roll. Now, because this is a dark image, it's okay. Um, the reason why you lint roll is because you, you don't want these fibers. For some odd reason, those fibers tend to want to turn a uh, dark color. Um, so there I've had it to where stuff would get turned black or stuff would turn brown or something like that. And I think I made this one a little bit too big, but that's okay. Um, and probably not long enough, but, uh, like, especially if you're doing an image that has a lot of white in it, um, sometimes those, you know, any fibers that are on there would for some strange reason will sublimate and either turn blue or black or something like that and just like i said when you're doing stuff for yourself you know if you mess it up okay cool but if you're you know making something that you're selling to somebody you definitely don't want that um i remember making a shirt for somebody and i forgot to lint roll and whenever i pressed it i saw all those dark fibers and i was like oh my goodness and so now you have to do it again. Um, I'm trying to get this to come out just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I had to do it again. And um, people that sublimate, any crafter, anybody that does anything for money, you know we do not like wasting money. That stuff is not cheap. Um, unless you, you know, do it in a buy-in or something like that. Uh, so let me press this down again. I'm hanging these um, handles off the edge of my heat press. Let me make sure I get it all the way up in there. Um, all right, we're going to do it another round, 398 for um, 60 seconds. It feels like it's a neoprene type um, material. That's what the handles and the straps and everything else feel. And I did not check. Y'all, oh my goodness, I'm telling you you're not doing what I said. I did not check to make sure I put the second image right side up. I hope I did. At this point, you cannot go back. Um, that's the thing with sublimation. It's kind of a, once you start, that's it. You're committed. Once that press goes down, you are committed. So hopefully I did it right. Again, if I didn't, um, it's mine. I bought six of them. Um, I think six was the minimum number you could buy. Of course, I bought them with the intent to sell. Um, but of course, you know, I had to make one for myself. Um, so the, the group, again, is Crafter's Journey. I'm using A-Sub Sublimation Paper, Printer's Jack Ink. This was created in Silhouette Studio. I have an Epson Eco Tank 2720 and the Moment of Justice. Okay, I did do it right side up. And yay! So I made this image a little bit. Let me ouch, y'all. This is hot. Um, safety first, use your gloves. I got gloves and ain't even using them. Um, so here we go. So you see where I made my image too short, but what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just getting some uh just printing a little bit of black and just going straight across that and sublimating that black just to kind of make it look like, you know, that's where the top of the design is. Um, I think that's so cute. It turned out great. So here's the first side. Here's the second side. So, and here's the set that I made. Let me get this out the way. Um, so here's the, oh, y'all can't see that. Here's the tumbler. And y'all, if you know from my previous video, this is when I first tried to 
press in this mug press so of course i had ghosting here but it's my cup um but this is the cup that goes with the set this is the coaster that goes with this set here are the earrings that go with this set here is the lunch tote that goes with this set so let me show y'all how this works you slide your tumbler in the tote and so here's the handle if you just wanted to carry it like that you know i i mean and if a guy were to do so i would probably see a guy doing this um but then again who knows um you know we live in a busy world where we have to carry a whole lot of stuff so this just makes it easier is this a necessity yes and no <laughs> everything's a necessity um so this is what it looks like just like i said the bottom is black the sides are black um and this is the thread uh where it didn't sublimate um so you'll see that i'll get a i'll probably get a black magic marker um so yeah i love the way this turned out again it's got a handle um that you can add on to it so anyway let me go ahead and hop off of here because i know um how we get bored with long videos so there's the tote bag the earrings um everything else let me see if i can zoom in all right so there's the set thank you guys so much for all of your support um go ahead and Leave me a comment in the comment section if you found this video helpful. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up too. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you've already not subscribed. And if you found this helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. Um, just like I said, I have not found a video like this on YouTube. So hopefully, you know, this will help somebody else know how to sublimate theirs. Uh, quick rundown. The images were created in Silhouette Studio. I'm, I'm holding my camera. It might be wobbly a little bit. My tripod is being disrespectful. So, again, the images were created in Silhouette Studio. I used ASUP sublimation paper. I printed it with uh, Printer's Jack ink. I have an Epson EcoTank 2720. Um, my heat press is from U.S. Cutter. I bought these uh, tumbler totes from a buy-in in a group that I am in on Facebook called Crafter's Journey. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys get that. So, anyway, continue to stay safe and be blessed. Um, I hope you guys are just enjoying your holidays. Y'all stay happy. And as I always say, do whatever makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.